right, so bring up Google, whatever browser you want to use. Now first, if you're a member, you can sign up, and you guys already have, but for the members that haven't, you can just sign up at, this is the payment link. Obviously, you guys have done this already, this part. Okay, this just takes you to the offer. Once you sign up here at the PayPal, then to get your download, all you do is go to forexmalibu.com, fibtraderdownload.php. That brings you to this page. You go ahead and put your first name, email. By doing this, that gets you on the list, okay, for like announcements. You know, for, for future, the masterclass announcements will come through this. Uh, and uh, any upgrade notifications, any settings notifications, anything like that will come through this. So by putting your name and email here, this puts you on uh, you basically the, the announcement list for FibTrader subscribers. So I'm just going to put Jimmy Forex and email. I'm just going to, all right, put Jimmy at ForexMalibu.com, but obviously put your information, get access. Okay, you're going to come to a little thank you page. Thanks for trying. Check your email inbox and click the confirmation link to receive the instructions. What you'll see in your email inbox, confirm, FibTrade Virtual Trading Assistant, okay, double click. Click your confirmation link. It'll says you will be directed to the FibTrader account setup and download page. So this is just getting you on the uh, support list. Okay, we click the confirmation link and it's going to take you to your download page. I want you to enter a username that you can use, whatever you want. If it's if you want to use your grid uh, password, you can do that. I've seen a lot of people doing that, just putting their grid, but just whatever, I mean, not password, ID. All right, but use whatever, because you're only going to use this to, to, uh, to edit your account, okay? Then put your email address in there. You're going to need your MetaTrader account number ready, okay? Put your MetaTrader account number. It's not your PC code. Uh, it's just your, your, you need a MetaTrader account number, okay? And that's going to be the, what it verifies through. Put your first and last name, and then submit. So, basically, I'll just put you know, J4X for Jimmy Forex, whatever. Uh, email Jimmy, there it is. It's already there. Yours probably won't be there. Just type in your email address. Put in your MetaTrader account number. Okay. And then your first and last. You can use capital letters if you want for your first, whatever you want to do. All right. Then hit submit. It'll give you ready to download. Please check your email for download link. All right. So, what I'm going to do is check my email. There it is. Here's the login. You'll get that, okay? You'll get an email like this. It gives you your username and a password. All right, this is your password for your version 2 to log in. All right, you can change that password here. Client page. If you do go here at the client page, I suggest you do it. You can enter your username and password that we just did there. Here's the password. Copy. J4X. I'm going to paste that password in. You got to pick your Fib Trader version 2. That's your product. All right. I'll say log in. There's everything. All right. It tells me my password. There's my email. Everything's about me. My MetaTrader account. If you put in the wrong MetaTrader, this is where you change it. Account. Okay. You hit change. Now I can change my password to anything I want. Okay, it's case sensitive. I'll just change it to, you know, password for now, PSWD, just to make it easy for us to do this. Okay, if I've put in the wrong account number or I get a new account or I move from demo to live, this is where I'm going to change my account number. Okay, you always need to have the right account for it to work. All right, hit submit. Client data is updated. All right, that's how you change it. Now the password is password. All right, so we're going to use that instead for this presentation. We pull this down. The MetaTrader account number, John, is, John asked, what is the MetaTrader account number? That's, you need to know the account you're going to put it on already. So you got to have MT4 to run this. So when you have MT4 and you've got your demo account set up or your live account, preferably demo first, you want to try this on demo, then just take your account number from whatever your broker, it has the number. It can be 10 digits, it can be 8 digits, whatever it is, that's your account number from your MT4 platform. 
Now, you know we changed our password to PSWD now. Uh, that was from hitting the client page. This is your link to your masterclass videos. You're also going to get an email from that support. It has all these links as well in it. Um, and then, but here's your download link. All right, so to download, just click the button. You'll see something like this. Do you want to run or save FibTrader? Just want to run it. Actually, you know what? Just save it because you might have to uninstall first. Okay, so let's save it. I'll just save it to the desktop. All right, the little save as screen came up. Save as, as keep the same name, I guess. All right, I'm saving it right to the desktop. Hit save. All right. It might run a little security scan because, you know, here it is. It's just something that's not, it's an EXE file. So, you know, your computer's going to throw up an alert. Okay, it's, there's nothing wrong with the file. You can run it. It's just doing, the computer's doing what it's supposed to do. All right. Actions. Uh, more options. Run anyway. Oh, it's trying to run it. Let's see. I'll say yes in case. Okay, it's coming to the installation wizard. Okay. Let's, we don't need to go there just yet because we're going to have to uninstall the old version. All right. So let me just cancel it. Well, it's on the desktop. Here it is. Okay. We'll just put it back here on the desktop for later. Okay. When we need it. Okay. What I want to do, I'm going to move my toolbar up so you guys can maybe see it. Can you see it if you scroll down? Yeah. So I'm going to hit start. I'm going to go to programs. FibTrader EA. I'm going to open it. I'm going to go to uninstall. It might come up with a little user access control. I'm going to say yes. Here's the uninstall wizard. It might pop up. And all you do, just hit next. It will uninstall. Boom. Just like that. One step. You're done. See? It says done. Next. All right. Finish. That's it. That's all you have to do. All right. Now we're going to want to go ahead and install the new one. This is our uninstall package. We've uninstalled the old one. Double click. You're going to get your little security warning. Hit run. You might get your UAC little warning. Hit yes. And then you're going to get your install wizard. So I'm going to say next. I accept. Next. Now you only have one MetaTrader. It can only be attached to one account. So whatever one you put your account number on, it needs to be that broker. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and put, uh, put it on this one. I've selected this hot forex account. I'm saying next. If you don't see it on here, you can click this button and you can find the folder for your broker account. It's always going to be in the x86 file because MetaTrader form is a 32-bit program and that's a 32-bit folder, okay? But we don't need to do it because we see it right there. We're going to hit next. Ready to install. See done? You're done. Next. All right. Don't run it. Just uncheck that. Because we got to do, we got to run as administrator. That's not the same thing. So we'll hit finish. All right. Now all we got to do is go to our broker and right click, run as administrator. You probably get your little UAC. Say yes. This is a little demo account I just opened up for this. First thing you want to do on your account is go to go to tools options expert advisors and then make sure that only the outer four boxes are checked and these other two are unchecked right there I just had to uncheck two of them okay so these four you want unchecked these outside four you want them all checked all right uh, if you want on charts you can reduce this number if you've got your computers not very fast you definitely don't need four five hundred twelve thousand bars in the history all right, that's a lot. So we can take this down. You know, take it to 5,000 or 20,000. Anything, you know, even you can go down to 5,000. You don't really need more than that. Uh, you put this down to 5,000 too. All right, you don't need any more bars than that. 
Uh, you can have it if you want. If you like to go back and look at your charts and go back for days and see what was happening, okay. If you got a fast computer, fine. If not, you could bog yourself down a little bit, okay? So keep those like they are. Everything else is fine. We're going to say okay. Make sure your expert advisors is checked. You don't want it off like in red. You want it green. Okay. Now let's open up our first chart. Let's bring up, say, Euro Dollar. All right. It's going to open up usually like an hour chart like this. I'm going to just, you know, use what any time frame you want. Doesn't matter. You know, one, five, you know, leave it there. I also like to do charts. I like to get rid of that grid. I don't know. It just bothers me. It just gets in the way. But if you like it, keep it. Um, but do make these changes now because then when you save your template, it'll all be right. Also, get it the size you want. You know, just do it small. You don't need anything big on there because you want. If you want to put a few of them on there, if you want to look at them, you're going to be looking at your grids mostly, so it doesn't even matter. This kind of stuff, just so you have it going. The first thing you're going to do is not open up the indicator first, like before. That is the habit. We're going to open up the expert advisor first. There it is, Fib Trader 2. As long as you got your chart highlighted, you can either double click it, you can drag it over there, right? Or you can just double click it. Now, all your boxes should be checked properly. The four outer ones, so they should be because we already did that. Inputs, this is where you're going to put your email. You know, you don't even have to copy and paste it anymore because this is the only time you'll have to enter your email pretty much. Because I'm going to show you how to save it. So Jimmy at forexmalibu.com, it's my email, and the password which we changed to password, or PSWD. And before this, if you already have a settings file you want to use, if you already do, then put that in first because you got to save your password on that. So in that case, I might as well just copy it. Uh, let's load up a settings file. I don't think I have anything in here now. You can see the presets file, there's nothing, but I know in my other broker folder, I do have some good ones uh, so let me go to my other broker folder real quick all in the x86 file experts presets okay here we go rapid fire three settings that's what we've been using in the trade room for for Fort fib trader open that up all right now let's put your password in you can see it says rapid fire three there now so we know we got that settings and I'm gonna so enter your email Enter your password, all right, and then just hit OK. You should see FibTrader V2 show up in a smiley face on the next tick. See, your uh, Euro dollar hasn't ticked. As soon as it ticks, there we go. FibTrader loaded successfully in yellow. That's what you want to see. That means the password is right, the account was right, we put everything in. We don't need expert advisors anymore. We just go to our custom indicators. There it is, ND Matrix Fib Trader. We can just double click it or drag it onto the chart. Our checks are there. All we should have to do is say OK. And you should see your lines. If you've got that, you're done. Once we've done this, we're going to save this as a template. We're going to make this so easy. You go to Template, Save Template. It's important that you save it with this name Default. Okay, I do that, I hit save. The reason I did it as default is because now look at what happens. Now when I go to cable, look, I just hit cable, it comes up as a five minute, and it's already ready. It's already got everything ready to go. It's one click, okay? Dollar yen, ready. You're already set up. If I want a euro yen on there, done. That's how easy it is. Now, here's the thing I want to share with you guys. Because if you open up a lot of these, let's say Dollar Canada, let's say Aussie Dollar. So say we open up a bunch. Say I've got 12 opened up. Say I've got New Zealand Dollar, Aussie Yen, you know, Pound Yen, you know, Euro Pound, Dollar Swiss. Say I've got them all. And then I close down. When I reopen, you're going to have 15 charts all trying to access the server to verify the uh, the expert advisor so you could get some connection errors okay if that happens just close each connection error and just reopen the ones that don't say fib trader load successfully so say you've got three that say successfully three that said connection error or some other message like recompiled message now you just gotta just open up the ones that you didn't make it there's cable 
you know, boom, there you go. All right, you know, Dollar Canada. That's how you do it. You just reset them like that. If you want to reset if something's not working right, just close it and reopen it. That's all you got to do. If you want to be a nice, easy, smooth load up, then when you're done trading, just close down each chart before you close your MetaTrader. Then close your MetaTrader. Then when you open, your MetaTrader will open up in a split second. It has nothing to load up. It's fine. Then once you load up, just bring up the charts you want, and it's going to be quick. All right, there's Euro. There's cable. So getting used to this part is important because uh, you will see some errors and then you'll send an email. Hey, there's an error. I don't know what to do. And that's fine. I get it. You shouldn't know what to do. You haven't had to deal with it yet. You see error. You think something's wrong. But all you really have to do, if you've got that template set as default, is just close any errored chart and then just reload it. And you should not have any problems whatsoever.